Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Here's what we're going to do today. Uh, let's see. So this is for my pre-calculus class. So this is the homework that was assigned on 11-23, doing 11-25. And uh, we're trying this because next week I'm going to be gone, and I won't be around to help you guys out. So what I want to do is I want to go over these homework questions. Here's the homework that's assigned in my math lab and uh, see if that helps you out. Okay, so first of all, let's start with the first one, number one. By the way, I think it would be really smart of you, even though it's due online, to write out each question in your notes, right? So what we have to do is we have to solve with the square root property, okay? So this one right here, um, 5x squared equals 20. Hold on, let me sharpen my pencil. Oh man, that's fancy. Brand new sharp. Here we go. Sorry about that. So uh, for all of these, we're using SADMAP, right? You're doing inverse operations when you're using the square root property. Just inverse operations. So you divide both sides by 5. x squared equals 4. Take the square root of both sides. Two answers. x equals 2. x equals negative 2. Right? So all you'd have to do in here, it says separate your answers by a comma. So you'd write it like that, right? Number 2. So that's number 1. Number two says uh, 4x squared plus 2 is equal to 30. 4x squared plus 2. Um, ooh, using radicals is needed. So it says type, your, type an exact answer. So an exact answer, that means you have to simplify that square root. Oh, so no calculator on this one. Okay, all right, so we can handle that. So first thing we're going to do is subtract 2, right? Subtract 2, then you divide. Let's see, 7, uh, so x equals, so you take square root, right? The square root of 7 and negative square root of 7. Now, not the square root of negative 7, but negative square root of 7. So it said, it said, the reason I'm leaving my answer like this is because that's what the instructions said to do. It said an exact answer. Exact, exact answer means the square root. Radicals are square roots. So negative square root 7, square root 7. All right. Next one says, square root property, complex numbers in terms of i. Okay, so that means we're going to have some imaginary stuff here. It told us right away. All right, number three says, 2x squared minus 8 is equal to negative 136. Okay, so we're going to add 8 to both sides, right? Let's see, plus 8. So that's going to be, what, 128 negative? I hope so. Let's see, 130, yeah, 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 that's right. Because if you if you subtract 8 from this, you get 136, okay? Divide by 2, let's see, that's going to be 64. Oh, uh, so then you take the square root. Square root of 64 is 8, so you have negative 8i, and you have positive 8i. That's it. 8i, negative 8i. Huh, I, there's something in the back of my head saying I made a mistake here, and sometimes... Um, and sometimes that little voice in the back of my head's right, sometimes it's not. Uh, a lot of time, if I do make a mistake, I can't find it right away. I have to come back. So let me just check. I added 8. So 136 and 8. Okay, good, good. And then divide by 2, 64. 64, yeah, 8, negative 8. So I think our answers are going to be, oh, it says write, uh, express complex numbers. So I bet, I bet it might want us to do this, 0 uh, minus 8i or plus 8i and 0 minus 8i. So here, let me write that out. I, it, as a complex number, I wonder if it wants us to write as this, because it you know does the brackets for set notation. I wonder if it wants us to do that. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure w which one it wants, but either way, we're good there. Number four. Uh, as an exact answer, using radicals as needed. Once again. So here we go. Five x plus 5 squared equals 60. Okay, so using inverse operations again, uh, we can't get rid of this 5 yet. We can't subtract it because it's inside of a group, so we have to divide first. So x plus 5 squared equals, so we divide both sides by 5, right? S um, 60 is 12 times 5. Oh man, we're gonna have some radic, we're gonna have some square root stuff here. Man, this is algebra. This is actually even before algebra one level right here, but that's okay. You might have a little trouble with it. So x plus five equals the square root of twelve. We'll do a little crash course in this. Um, 
you might need to look up how to simplify square roots exactly exactly I can put a link for you where you can kind of get more instruction on this but here's what this is right here um, when you have the square root of 12 it's saying what times itself is 12 so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that square root of 12 and you're gonna factor it and find the biggest perfect square the biggest perfect square that's a factor of 12 is 4 so the square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of 3 can't be simplified so here's what you've got you've got this right here 2 root 3 so we're going to subtract 5 from both sides, right? So we got one that's like this, and we have one that's like this. Those are our two answers. So there's number 4. Number 4 says, using radical, yeah, common. So you'd have to write, I don't have enough room the way it printed. You have to write both of those right in there. All right, number 5. So number five says x minus five squared equals negative seven. And it says, man, once again, exact. Yep, yep. All right. So that means no no decimals. All right. So square root first. So x plus five equals, sorry, I'll fix that right now, equals the square root of seven i plus or minus. And it's minus five right here, right? So all you got to do now is add five to both sides. And you got two answers. Make sure you're writing that I so it's very clearly outside of the parentheses. So those are your two answers. Sace your face. <coughs> Says solve the, solve the quadratic equation by square root property and exact answers once again. So 4x plus 3 squared equals 64. So taking the square root first, the square root of 64 is 8, right? And this one, this is one of those situations where it's turning out so easy, uh, it makes me nervous. <laughs> All right, so anyway, 4x equals, so you got to subtract 3, 5, so x equals 5 over 4. And let's see, let me make sure what this instruction said again. This was number 6. Number six said exact answers writing it. Oh, well, since this terminates, you could say 1.25. Either one of those I would imagine would be okay for the computer. I, I, didn't, I didn't write the computer, so I don't really know. So 4x equals negative 11. So x equals negative 11 over 4, which is negative 2 and 3 fourths or negative 2.75. I imagine any of those answers would be fine. I know on paper they're all okay. And they all follow the instructions. So there's number six. And numero siete dice uh, 2x minus 4 squared equals 39. And once again, using radicals and i as needed. So uh, there is no i in this one. So uh, we're going to take the square root of both sides. We're going to have the square root of 39. Exact answer. So 2x minus 4 equals 39 the square root thereof 2x minus 4 equals minus the square root of 39 now 39 is 13 times 3 and 3 is prime 13 is prime so we actually cannot simplify this square root but let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this let's add 4 to both sides let's solve them separately let's add 4 to both sides 2x equals 4 plus the square root of 39 divide by 2 x equals um, divide by 2 4 plus the square root of 39 divided by 2. Now, if you wanted to type that into a calculator, um, if you wanted to check your decimal, which we're not using decimals here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Let me type that into my calculator real quick. 4 plus the uh, square root of 39, and then that's equal to 10 something, right? That makes sense. Divided by 2. So... Uh, this would be 5.12. Now, we're not typing this answer in because the computer's going to mark it wrong. The reason I did this is I wanted to make sure that you could, I don't know, if you wanted to see what it would look like as a decimal, you'd be good to go. Okay, now let's, let's solve this one. We have to add 4 to both sides, right, minus the square root of 39, and then divide by 2. So that's our answer right there, 4 minus 
the square root of 39 divided by 2. Now, this cannot be simplified, and this cannot be simplified um, exactly, because uh, you can't reduce these because of the order of operations. You see, the fraction bar makes this a group, so the numerator has to be calculated first, and then you could divide by 2. But let's go ahead and see what this would look like if we... Um, 4 minus 39, i got to take the square root of the 39, and then divide by 2. So that is, if you did it as a decimal, this is what you'd get. But this is what you have to type in. So I hope, it, I hope this was help for you guys, helpful for you guys. I hope we didn't go too fast. If it did, you can just go back and kind of pause it and do it at your own pace. But uh, that's it. I hope you guys have a good day.